Hello, this is Dr. Mike Schlegel with Karina's Technical Solutions Team. We often get asked why Antler Max textured diets are different. There's four reasons. It contains a fat nugget, which is made of multiple vegetable oil sources. It contains Antler Max Bypass Protein, Antler Max Mineral Technology, and now enhanced with Climate Guard. To find out additional information, please go to antlermax.com or visit your local Purina dealer. Okay, my name is Patrick Tarleton. I'm the Executive Director of the Texas Deer Association. I'm here with Billy Sage from SNS Whitetail Galore and the Bone Factory. Um, we're going to talk a little bit today about the um, Purina Animal Nutrition, um, his past in deer farming, and we're going to do just a little bit of an interview. So, Billy, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm a deer farmer. I've been deer farming uh, almost a quarter of a century now. Um, love raising whitetail. Um, I've got a farm in Ohio and own quite a few deer in Texas, and we travel the country deer farming. It's our That's passion. That's fantastic. How many deer do you have total, all together? Gosh, probably eight, nine hundred, maybe a thousand. Wow. Uh, quite a few. Quite yes, a few. and it's just you and Mitzi. Just me and Mitzi. Man, that's fantastic. And Boss Hog. And Boss Hog. I was about to say, if I forget him, we're going to be in trouble. So, Billy, talk to me about the importance of nutrition. What does it mean to you? Oh, well, we can go all the way back to the, the mid-90s when we just had a few deer. Uh, was in Florida, was deer farming in Florida. Um, had a phone call from a dear friend, which turned to be a dear friend, uh, Dr. Larry Varner. And I think everybody knows who Dr. Larry Varner is, Absolutely. you know, with Purina. Uh, in my mind, I reckon he had kind of invented the Antler Max. So, but anyhow, he, he came down for a visit and uh, we're blessed to meet him. And uh, he basically set us on a path to uh, um, whitetail nutrition uh, many, many, many years ago. And uh, we've tried to stick to our goals. And um, we try to do really, really good deer husbandry, and we let Purina figure everything else out. Good. So. Good. So, you know, you've been in this for 25-plus years, like you were saying. Tell me, I'm sure you've had other feeds that you've tried or experimented with or maybe you've used in the past, but what sets Purina apart? Uh, well, <clears throat> number one, um, their customer service is like no other. They never forget you. Um, you know, there's uh, if you liken it to vehicles, you know, uh, a Dodge will get you where you want, a Chevy will, and a Ford will. Uh, but that service department is going to take you for the long haul, and uh, these guys do a tremendous, tremendous job showcasing their product. They come to all the events. Uh, they check on you during the year. Uh, more than just a deer feed, they're the total package. Can't get much better of a resounding mm. endorsement than that. No, they're just the total package. So how long have you been feeding Purina Animal Nutrition? Since, since the beginning. Since the beginning. Since the beginning. Wow. wow. I, 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 when we first started, uh, we'd just go to our little old feed store and we'd buy a little Purina, throw it in the back seat. Didn't have but a few deer. Now they come rolling up in semis. <laughs> so it's, you know, it's been a long haul. Sure. That's fantastic so. to hear, though. Um, you know, we hear a lot about body condition and herd health and herd management and um, nutrition off of fawning and, and all sorts of other aspects. Do you feel like uh, Purina is providing the total package for nutrition across all does, fawns, uh, bucks, etc.? Let's just say this. If they can't, nobody else can because nobody puts more science into it, more effort into it, more research into it. Listen, they invite you to the research facility. They make you a part of their family. And that is, that is just key. Uh, let me tell you what. The fastest race car in the world is no good without 
a team to make it run. And Purina just makes it run. That's fantastic. Yeah. So, Billy, you've been doing this for a long, long time. You've seen many, many great deer come through your facility. Right. Talk to me a little bit about what the up-and-coming crop at SNS has in store for the rest of the industry. Well, um, if you go way back, um, we like to think, and a lot of our friends and fellow farmers and peers or whatever, you know, they call our farm pretty much the house that Shadow built. And he was a tremendous uh, Max Bow son, uh, Max Bow being maybe the king of sires, and that was a buck we owned too. And uh, But Shadow, you know, in modern day, kind of built our house. And uh, this year we have uh, five breeding sires for sure that we will be using. One of them is Have Mercy and... I mean, he's named right. He's the biggest thing I've ever seen in my life, and he's good-looking. And uh, But long story short, our five sires that we will for sure breed this year all have shadow in the pedigree, and they all have Purina in the trough. That's fantastic. So that's hard to beat. There's nothing like that. Talk to me a little bit about Have Mercy. He's the, he's the talk of the town right now. Well, he's, uh, if you think of a... His score is not his attribute, uh, and don't get me wrong, he's going to score probably as much as any, but his sheer mass, width, uh, I don't know, he's probably 50 inches outside, 40 inside, uh, 80 inches of mass. Uh, I don't, I, I'm saying he could weigh 50 pounds in velvet. It's like a big giant bull elk. And wow. uh, the main thing is, his pedigree is second to none, and he's really pretty. He does so, have he does have a look about him, doesn't he? Yeah, he's got an all striking look. He sure does. So we, we're we're just blessed. Well, I, I think you've done a lot of great things in our industry, Billy. You talk a lot about the customer service of Purina. I think a lot of people talk about the customer service of you and Mitzi. Y'all no, certainly never forget your customers, and you don't forget our industry and our associations. And so, on behalf of the Texas Deer Association and Purina, I know they would want to say thank you as well. And we sure appreciate that. And we really appreciate like say, everything we, we We got off to a good start a long, long time ago. Uh, I mean, I bet we didn't have 15 deer when Dr. Larry Varner come all the way from Texas just to visit s and -S Whitetail Galore. And uh, at that time, we were somebody, but nobody. But he treated us like somebody. And, uh, and the last time I visited with him, he treated us like somebody. That's uh, important. That's a great leader in a company. Yep. Yep. Well, Billy, thank you very much for doing the interview with us. We really appreciate it. All right. Thank you. All right. Nobody feels like eating when it's 100 degrees in the shade. So when hot weather hits your herd, weight gain and body condition can suffer, which can have an effect on antler development and doe lactation. That's why Antler Max deer feeds are now formulated with our exclusive Climate Guard supplement, which supports weight gain and body condition by encouraging feeding during heat stress events. Visit PurinaClimateGuard.com today to learn more about the new Climate Guard technology found exclusively in Antler Max deer feeds. Climate Guard, take the heat out of sun. Summer. Folks, thanks for tuning in today. I'm here with Zach Gates, owner of All Seasons Feeder. Um, Zach's been around the industry for a long, long time. Uh, All Seasons Feeder is a um, household name in ranch equipment and farming equipment, especially feeders and blinds. Um, they are commonly referred to as the best in the business. Thank you for well, being thank here. Thank you for that. Absolutely. Um, Y'all, today we're going to talk a little bit about All Seasons Feeders. A little bit about Purina Nutrition and a little bit about customer service. Um, yeah. Let's start with customer service. What does customer service mean to you? You run a customer service oriented business selling blinds and feeders and fire pits. What does it mean to you? If I did not focus on our customer service, we wouldn't be in business. You know, and that's, uh, I would say that's always next to, you know, product innovation. Customer service is number one on the top of our list, you know, and that's, uh, very important to us and I feel like very important to Purina as well. I agree. Yeah. Well, look, I want to dive right in on something that you talked about and that's product innovation. Um, you are constantly on the cutting edge of developing what's good for our industry, especially in blinds and feeders. 
how much of your effort is spent on product innovation? Every chance I get, me and my father are designing. So um, all of our other energy is, you know, day-to-day -day operations and taking care of customers and, you know, making sure things run smooth. But any chance we get, we're constantly, even if something is, if something's the best seller and there's minimal complaints, I'm still looking to redesign it and make it better. And that's because we're using it every day at our ranch, you know. And as far as the feeder side of things, I feel that the feeder is a small investment. It's the small price, you know, within easily a couple months. The amount of feed that runs to that feeder is going to surpass the cost of the feeder itself. So, you know, that's why the feed is the biggest investment, you know. Uh, it's the biggest cost on the ranch. Well, you know more about feed going through feeders than anybody oh, yeah. else. And you use Purina Animal Nutrition. Yeah. T talk to me a little bit about why you use Purina. Well, we started off with uh, Purina from the beginning over 15 years ago, you know, and so we've been doing the deer farmers for over 15 years now. And uh, kind of, I like we fell into the right hands from the beginning, you know, and never had any reason to to try anybody else or, or move on, but uh, I mean the feed is, it's easy, you can tell in the, in the health of the, the animal, you know, now, so. Yeah, now do you use, um, are you feeding Purina in the pasture and in, in your breeding pens? Yes, we're doing both. Well, and I, I know I've been out to, out to your ranch, you have one of just a top notch facility out there. You. Are, are you seeing animal health through your feed out both in the pasture and in the pens? Oh, 100%. 100%. I mean, even, uh, you know, just we had a, we're, our place is down in Pearsall, so we had a dry spell. Uh, we finally got two inches of rain last week, which was a blessing, but sure. uh, we had a, about a two month dry spell that was starting to get pretty serious, you know, and uh, just driving around the pasture, observing all the animals and making sure they're doing all right, you know, uh, keeping all the protein feeders topped off for sure, but uh, everybody looked great, and, um, you know, I think. Uh, overall even with I mean the mesquite trees are starting to turn brown you know so you know it's getting pretty serious that's exactly and, right and uh, you know luckily we've had plenty of feed in the well, feeders and yeah I know one of the exciting um, innovations in the in the animal nutrition has been climate guard climate guard is to protect for those drought months where we get into South Texas where you're from and there's just no water those animals seem to be weathering it better are you having a good success with that Yes, a very good success. And I smile because even in, so naturally in, in, you know, high heat climate, you see your consumption go down, right? Well, uh, it's been crazy. Even in, even we had one week that was uh, consistently 105 and that next Saturday was 118 and we did not see a drop in consumption that week. Good. So talk to me a little bit about um, the other, the flip side of, of what Purina does. You talked about your, your, your focus on customer service. Now talk about their focus on customer service. Uh, are you happy with the way they serve you and your ranch? 100%. There's no complaints. Um, if there ever is ever any small issues, which I feel like every company, they're on top of it. I mean, right away, it's instantly fixed and we continue rolling on. Um, as far as the customer service has been phenomenal. Um, you know, I mean, we order feed and it's there. And that's most important. You know, that's, uh, if there is any issues, then, you know, someone will contact us or come out and it's never nothing. You know, it's always small issues, it's nothing. But uh, the customer service is definitely top notch. Absolutely. And that's, that's what keeps us from even, you know, besides the quality of the product itself, uh, the customer service keeps us from even, even uh, paying attention to any of the other yeah. brands out there. You know, I feel like in the in the in the industry we're in, customer service and reliability are a huge deal. Being able to depend and rely on somebody who's going to fulfill their promises of keeping your feed um, at the ranch, keeping your feed um, um, it, it stabilized, and making sure that when you order a product, it's there. I feel like that's a huge mm -hmm. component of what we do. So often we get into these situations where. Um, the reliability of the service provider that we have just doesn't come through. But from what you're saying, I feel like Purina's meeting and exceeding all your expectations. Definitely.
Good, good. Definitely. Talk to me a little bit about, um, let's talk a little bit about your breeding pens. How many deer do you have in pens? Uh, right now we're down a little bit this year. Uh, we did a little, little thinning last year, but we're right about 250. And you're, right really, and you're really focusing on, 250 is a good number. Yeah. I mean, that's a great oh, yeah, number to have. It's still, yeah. Absolutely. Our ranch foreman is plenty busy. That's exactly <laughs> right. Two, two, 250 um, is phenomenal, especially with your operation where you're raising really good mature deer and then releasing them into the pasture mm -hmm. um, and, and promoting the, the, the health of your deer and genetic sustainability out in your pasture. Are you seeing a good result with deer coming from the pens on Purina then going out to their pasture feed? Are you seeing a good transition there? Um, it's an interesting story. So last year, we actually, uh, when I talked about, you know, thinned our, our pens a little bit, kicked a bunch of deer out to the pasture, obviously to improve our genetics in the pasture, but uh, just we are getting a little overpopulated and because of the uh, recent issues in the deer industry, we couldn't sell any deer, so we were uh, kicked a bunch out. And the we kicked out what we would call our inferior deer, okay? That's what we let out to the pasture. Um, by, you know, the end of growing season, me and my dad were looking at those deer going, we should not have kicked them out. They were doing, <laughs> they, they, uh, they did phenomenal. So it was, it was uh, a great transition from, you know, in the breeding facility to the pasture. Uh, and I do believe the feed had 100% to do with that, you know, the health of the animal, releasing them in, into the, the main ranch. Uh, is everything. If they're going to survive, how they're going to do, how they're going to acclimate, um, it's a completely different environment out there, you know? That, so, yeah. That's what this is all about, is getting a healthy animal from our pens out into the pasture and allowing it to proliferate out there. That's what this is all yeah, about. Exactly. All right, I want to switch topics on you. Talk to me about all the good stuff All Seasons has coming online. What's new? What's innovative? I want your trade secrets right now. Let them out, brother. What's coming on the Can't market? Give them all to you. <laughs> you know, what you see is what you get. There you go. No, we got uh, we got some really cool stuff. I'm really excited about. So we've actually we're this next year we'll be trying to focus on. So we're fine tuning our current products is what I'm doing right now. We're fine tuning our current lineup, uh, doing some changes for 2018. But we're gonna start. We're gonna be the leaders for. Uh, technology in the uh, feeders, I mean in, in deer feeders and even without giving too much away in outdoor products, okay? Uh, game surveying to briefly, you know, briefly give you an idea, uh, wow. but we got a lot of really cool exciting things. I'm not going to tell you everything. All sure, right? sure. But uh, we got some really cool stuff we'll be releasing in 2018 and 2019. That uh, will definitely be, you know, I feel very comfortable we'll be leading the technology as far as. Well, I, I'm going to tell you that that's exciting news to me mm -hmm. that you're even going to try to up your game because I'll tell you, as you know, we, we buy them for the lease that we're on. We buy your feeders and they're, they're second to none. They're phenomenal. Everything y'all do, you put your time and energy into it and we see the product out there. They're reliable. They're durable. They last. They do exactly, they perform the exact function we need by dispersing the right amount of feed. Um, they're, they're virtually weatherproof, so yeah. I, appreciate I appreciate that it. very much. Um, okay, I gotta ask you, how are the Chingon blinds doing? They're doing really well. Man, that's why. We actually got a, uh, so this weekend, we're releasing the, the Moss Chingon, okay? <laughs> it's, the, it's eight by eight, it's eight by eight. Um, you can get on a five, eight, or ten foot stand. Wow. Yeah. So we've had some customers expressing that they want a bigger blind. So our, our big chingon's a seven by seven, so I had to go to the Moss Chingon. We got an eight wow. by eight now. You stop by the booth, check it out. Is it here at the show? Yeah, it's here at the show. We Folks, do not miss out. It is the premier blind. The, I, I went to Zach's facility, and I will tell you that the product innovation and time they spend to get this right is unbelievable. There was, when I went, there was a blind that was cut virtually in half. They were inspecting the inside of their insulation and their materials to make sure they were durable. You will not find a better engineered product in hunting blinds on the market. I will guarantee you that. I, I think, 
I think it's phenomenal that you're going bigger. I, I mean, is it gonna is it gonna fit four to five people? Or is it? It's oh, a big easily. blind. Oh, easily, yeah. Wow. Five people, four or five, easily, yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. And play a room for the ice chest too. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. important. <laughs> Zach, thanks for taking the time to talk to me. No, no problem. Appreciate you, everything sir. you do. Nobody feels like eating when it's 100 degrees in the shade. So when hot weather hits your deer herd, weight gain and body condition may suffer. That's why Purina Antler Max deer feeds are now enhanced with Purina's exclusive Climate Guard supplement, which supports weight gain and body condition by encouraging feeding during heat stress events. Climate Guard supplement is a patent pending all natural plant extract supplement that's exclusive to Antler Max products. If it's important to you to keep your deer herd in great condition, then this product is for you. To learn more about Purina Antler Max Feeds Enhanced with Climate Guard and see the research behind the nutritional solution, you can visit us at PurinaClimateGuard.com or visit your local Purina dealer.